Okay, we're back online. Alright, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Sorry about that. I do apologize for... Whatever happened. It's really weird. Huh. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Okay, uh da, 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 da. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found come no from? trace of their go? existence? Where did they come from? Cut if they nine. were real, we'd have found something. Whatever your name is. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre, the Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Hashtag too soon. <clears throat> it was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council. And it was a human who exposed him. I have earned this. Yeah. Commander Shepard, step forward. Where'd all these people come from? <laughs> you are the weakest the link. The Goodbye. Granted all the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. 
Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary yeah, to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Do I get a medal? Or like a sweet vest? Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. Ooh. You should go down equipment. to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I bet my ship's gonna be the Normandy. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. <laughs> hey! Look at that. I'm a Spectre now. I wonder if there's anything you can do to not end up being a Spectre. Like... If, like, that's just... You know, if... If you can fuck up and not end up with a, uh, you know, with all the stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. You guys do. Let's just do automatic. Alright, good job. Sec Academy. Whoop. Well, hey there, little fella. at a Presidium location? Oh. Yeah, Ahula, I think she got the, um, the big, like, super Patreon package deal here. Stadium, docking bay. It's a docking bay, right? It's gonna be on my left. <clears throat> hey, dude. Do 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 do. In other news, Exogeny Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Blah, da, 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 da. Where's the elevator music? I want elevator music.
I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship All right, thanks for joining me, Kula. See you later. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren's not gonna get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist... R -E -A -P -E -R -S. The Conduit's the key to bringing them back. I don't think they exist. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her All name's right. Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports okay. she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. The colonists on Pharos might still be alive. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll take care of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Looks like it might be yes, ending Commander. up on a renegade sort of touch here. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I trusted you. You betrayed me. It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. There is Alliance so much intel dialogue. Work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, Sneak back out. Quick, quiet, 
and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things. I feel like explained. the dialogue is a little bit. Uh, Saren and I split up I don't to know. cover more ground. <laughs> kind of. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery. Maybe core. makes this less interesting. Officially, like, it was ruled like an accident, you guys are just watching episodes Saren of a television show purpose, where to draw off the enemy guards. He was smart. You needed a diversion. This went way beyond a simple. Where I'm just kind of, you know. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Oh, I can. If I have Nobody subtitles on, then I can skip the. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the, the fires voice. and the toxic fumes, the final death nice. count was over 500, mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How do you? In his report, on... Saren accused me of blowing his cover. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. I just figured that out. Thank you. No Thank you, Josh. I should go. I should I'll go. be here if you need anything. Cool. Consider it inspected, I guess. Check out my ship. It is the shit. Look at that. I got them thrusters. Move out of the way. Boss. Captain on deck, motherfucker! Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our <laughs> orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. The Council wants to ignore this. That's no surprise. They never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop <laughs> Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Commander, something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. 
I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance <laughs> fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Vrolic syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic, but I've learned to manage my condition, <laughs> Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. <laughs> Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. I need to know more about this Rolex syndrome if I'm putting my ship in your hands. Yeah, of course you do. It's an extremely rare condition. Nobody knows exactly what causes it. Genetic, maybe. It's treatable, but there's no cure. They classify my case as moderate to severe. I was born with over a dozen fractures, hip, thighs, ankles, my bones were already breaking in the womb. A hundred years ago, I wouldn't have survived past my first year. Lucky for me, modern medical science has turned me into a productive member of society. You're not gonna break a bone trying to fly the ship, are you? Uh, I don't fly with my feet, Commander, so I'm fine as long as I'm in this chair. I gotta be real careful when I get up to take a piss, though. I can do my job as well as anyone on the ship. Better, actually. So don't worry about it. I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. Let's talk about something else. Whatever you want, Commander. I All have right, to go. I think that's enough out of Joker. All right, see ya. <laughs> All right, see ya. You know, I wasn't real... Um, I wasn't real keen on uh, Seth Green about, you know, an hour ago when we were first interacting with him, but I don't know, he's doing alright. Sounds, sounds okay to me. Wrestling, talk to me. I guess not. I guess your fucking captain isn't important enough to talk to. this shit. I got a space map. Oops. No more space map. There we go. Galaxy map. Exodus cluster. Argos Row. Gemini Sigma. 
Artemis Tau, Hades Gamma, Voyager Cluster, Atticon Beta, Armstrong Nebula, Kepler Verge, Hawking Eta. Everything in this galaxy sounds cool as shit. I have no idea where to go. Computer, enhance. I bet the journey there would be strenuous. Nope. I don't want to travel there yet. Let's see what kind of shit we can get into on the ship real quick. Goddamn right, you salute me. I'm the fucking boss. Oh, hey, Caden. It's just, it's you again. <laughs> it's just Caden. So is that it? We just take a nap here when we sleep? I, I don't know. I'll talk to Caden. Salute Anything me, need, bitch! What's your opinion on the last mission? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Psh. He does not want to fuck. Loser. I came here to kick ass and fuck space people, and I'm all out of kicking ass. Let me fuck space people already. I guess you have to develop a relationship or whatever. Hey, Commander. Hey. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Show me what you got.
Find that. Find that. Gee, what's up, homie? Board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, let's yeah, kick ass! Probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't hey, Alarith. I understand. Oh, the Mako. Apparently, I'm gonna hate that thing. All right, I am going to go back up stalls. I think. We are going to... Alarith, is your internet still out, buddy? Yeah, I'm gonna go back upstairs. And once I get there... Oh man, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear that your internet is a bitch. So, I am going to go up here and we're going to go a place. And then I think it's going to be time to call it for the evening. I just want to see this before I stop. Fuck yeah! It's ship time. Jesus! The fuck is... Okay. Control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a council specter aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. 
What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. They sound a little, uh, cranky. Around here in ice space. If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on our ship, though. I'm in charge here, Presley. I decide if we have non-humans on this vessel. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop him. We don't need their help. Yeah, their help. I'm gonna try to be... Uh, let's see. Some people think asking for help is a sign of weakness. There That's just go. being stupid and stubborn. There you no go. No matter how strong you are, allies can make you stronger. I guess so. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't Maybe worry, I'm Commander, just this won't be a problem. You better not be, you old space-ass racist. How did you racist. end up assigned to the Normandy? <laughs> I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator right out of school, following in my grandfather's footsteps, I guess. My first posting was on the Agincourt. We were at Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. A massive fleet of alien raiders hit the colony, trying to wipe it out. They had the numbers. But their ships were no match for an Alliance frigate. It was a slaughter. We couldn't even keep track of how many ships they lost. How'd you end up on the Normandy? I got my officer's commission after Elysium. Must have made an impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. Okay, Carry goodbye. on, Presley. Yes, ma'am. Carry on, you space racist ass. Space racist. Nope, that's not the way to the bridge. Commander. Alright, Joker, talk to me. Something you need? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. Balance is the Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot commander. I have to go. All right, see ya. All right, see ya. All right. Who goes with me? squad for now equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere interior pressure with exterior logs exterior the commanding pressure. officer is ashore exo presley has the deck oh good leave the space racist in charge of the fucking ship it's a good idea I guess I kind of ride the trigger buttons a little bit when I, uh, when I do this. And this exciting cliffhanger! Uh, click save. This super exciting cliffhanger where I check my squad stuff and give them points. Okay. And then save again.
this is where I'm going to leave you for this evening. It is uh, now 11.08 p.m. my time, and uh, it's been about two hours here in a couple different sessions, thanks to uh, some internet wonkiness or something. So uh, thanks, everybody, for joining me. If, you, uh, if you're just getting to the end of the video and you didn't know what was going on here, this is where I tackle my uh, pile of shame uh, for, uh, for you guys, for your interest in edification. Um, and education. Uh, I appreciate everybody taking the time out to uh, to take a look at this. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to end up on YouTube, if it's going to be two parts or one part, if uh, Twitch is smart enough to, to pick that back up, but um, thanks for your patience and sticking through, and um, if you don't already know, uh, check out the podcast at noquarters.net, where we do a monthly podcast about video games and the video games that video game them. Um, uh, follow us on Twitter at NoQuartersNet. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, check us out at uh, twitch.tv slash NoQuartersNet. That's where these will be every Monday live at 9 p.m. Um, if you're listening, if you're watching this on Twitch, check us out at youtube.com slash NoQuartersNet, where all of these are archived. Uh, oh my goodness. Where all of these are archived permanently. I'm so sorry for that. Um, so I enjoyed it. Uh, we made a little bit more progress. We got off the Citadel, and we uh, are on to a planet for the first time. And I'm going to eventually go talk to Mako Matsuo, whoever that is, and we'll see what, uh, what happens in the rest of my space adventures. So uh, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you next time.